Welcome to today Coffee on Consulting event from Convenus. I hope you had already started well into the new week and Monday and had grabbed you a cup of coffee so that we can start with a, our today's topic, what you need to know for employing F, N or S permit holders in, in Switzerland. The today topic is, um, or we chose the today's topic because we had in practice um, every now and then questions about employing um, refugees or asylum seekers. And there is a bit of a confusion, I think, in, in reality with all those different permit types and also what is entitled or who is entitled to um, what. And we thought it might be good to just um, give you a quick overview as well as um, then also um, providing you the possibility to ask um, any questions in that regard. If we look at the different um, permit types, then we will not talk about all the different asylum seekers, possibilities and what it needs to um, get um, or how, the, how someone gets an asylum seeker permit or um, what are the reasons for it and how the process will be, because that is quite complicated in itself. Um, we thought we just um, will look at the part of um, in case you do want to hire someone or who would like to um, provide someone with work and how that will work for you as well as what you need to do in order that that is um, possible. Now, in the in the first um, slide already, you saw there are three letters and basically the asylum seekers um, or the group of asylum seekers and refugees are split in three um, groups. On the right hand side of that slide, you will find a short overview, which we found is quite helpful and um, quite good, good in giving you a quick overview about the different category, categories as well as it was it, what it means. In principle, someone with an end permit holder, that is someone where the asylum procedure um, is still not regulated and the application is still um, pending with the um, authority. So those are basically the ones or someone who is coming to Switzerland on an and asking for asylum. This is the most likely one of the first um, permits the individual will get um, after registration. Then what you most likely have also seen in practice, um, people with having an F permit or also then a B permit. B permit is if they are recognized um, refugees and then they will get a B permit, which usually is then also valid for um, five years. Now, as long as their application process is not completed or it has been completed, but um, it was denied the um, application, or there are certain other reasons why someone cannot um, move back to the country where they had been coming from, then they will get an F permit. The F permit is something they are temporarily admitted to um, stay in Switzerland, and therefore there is also the possibility that they um, can work. And then I think what we most likely have just in the, in the last um, one year um, had the most, um, most connection with is the S permit holders, which is 
kind of the protection um, permit which was only issued for Ukrainian nationals so far. Um, so these are the three different type of permit holders we will look at um, today. With the explanation that an end permit um, you will get as soon as you um, come to Switzerland, basically, that will be more or less your first permit type. It is quite clear that um, there those people will not be completely um, approved already to be able to work um, from the start. So there is a certain period, kind of waiting period, of three months in which they cannot work at all. Depending a bit on the situation and depending on um, the application process, that waiting period might be extended to six months. But then afterwards, they should be allowed to work as well. However, you will have to file a full work permit application then for, the, for someone with an end permit. So they are in basically the same group of people like any other third country national as well. With job search and with everything um, is required for any other person. Um, based on those people, that is then also why it becomes so difficult and tricky to get a permit or get someone in employment with an end permit because you have to basically go through the whole um, process in order to get um, the work permit for that individual. Much easier it is already for F permit holder. For F permit holder those are temporarily admitted um, in, in Switzerland and they just cannot move back um, or have to stay in Switzerland for the moment for whatever kind of reasons. Um, those people you can offer employment and if they accept and they should start to work for you then you need to do an online notification and basically informing about the, the employment. As long as you are taking care that the Swiss labor, uh, labor market conditions are fulfilled, everything is, is in order and, and okay. You will have also to um, inform or to make an online notification each time the employer changes, the work location changes or the job changes. And Below you will find um, a quick um, photo from the EasyGov, that's the online notification system, or you can fill out basically a form still online and then send it. On the right hand side you will find the form and the information you basically need in order to um, get that um, notification. What is important? You also have to um, inform um, the authority um, when you terminate the employment. So once it is finished, then you need to inform them as well. What you don't need to inform the authority about is in case there is a change of work quota, meaning in case somebody is not, um, initially you maybe have hired the individual for 80%, and you now like to reduce it to 60% or on the other hand you would like to increase it to 100%, this is something you don't need to inform the authority about. But in case um, you for example wanted to have the employee working as a receptionist and then in the end um, rather would like um, her or him work as an assistant, this the change of job is something you will have to um, inform the authority about. In principle that is quite easily done 
and usually you should receive um, straight after the filing already a kind of confirmation and then there will be a, diff a second confirmation about two weeks um, afterwards. Those people can basically work in any kind of job, any kind of um, way so there is no need of um, a job search to be done. It's just that um, you have to inform or do the online notification before the employee um, started. And then the third category, um, basically that's the S permit holders. For them, there are no waiting period and I assume some of you had already made some experiences with it. It is um, depends a bit on the canton, but it is quite simple to get the um, to do the process. You just have to write formally um, file a work permit application, but basically you just have to send in a copy of DS permit, copy of passport, and copy of the employment contract. And then the authority um, will issue um, an approval within one to two um, weeks. Also in that regard, for those people, it is important that you um, will inform the authority in case the employment um, ends. So they would like to be aware of um, that as well. Now, in regard to apprenticeships, there had been a lot of discussions um, whether someone who has started now an apprenticeship with an S permit and whether that person can um, also continue and finalize the, um, the apprenticeship, um, even maybe the um, S permit will not be extended again. Um, it has been now extended for another 12 months, but um, we will have to see um, what will happen. I mean, hopefully the war will be at some point over and um, rather sooner than later. And therefore, in principle, with the end of the war, also the S permit will actually stop. Now, the authorities are not quite sure and quite clear how quickly that will then happen and how it will happen. But um, the intention is that as soon as the war is over, um, the permits will be expiring then as well and will be not extended. The decision reached at the moment is that someone who had started an apprenticeship with an S permit should actually be able to finalize the apprenticeship with the S permit and the authority will, would like to see and take care that um, that will happen. Now, you may have um, read in the newspaper in the last couple of, one or two weeks, there was an article about someone um, with an F permit who were not able to um, actually finalize um, the apprenticeship um, because of the um, application process for the asylum underlying and asylum seeking had been denied and the the person is at the moment um, should be transferred at some point um, back um, to their original country. Um, for S permit holders, um, the authority is sure they they would like to have those people really doing finalizing the apprenticeship, whereas for there's still a disadvantage for someone having um, just an, an F permit or, or an N permit. So there's still the, the difference in it. Based on that, you see that um, in principle, someone with an S permit, there is no problem at all if you want to hire that person. You don't have to look at the job itself. The job, um, however, the 
job the individual would like to do in Switzerland, as well as what he or she has learned, should be in connection. But um, as long as the Swiss labor market conditions are fulfilled, that is basically um, fully okay. For F permit holders, um, there's the same thing. As long as labor market um, conditions are fulfilled, everything um, is, is in order. Just for N permit holders, you need to be very careful and you need to look at it um, then and then also check and speak with the authority um, whether there is a possibility at all to get through the process because the problem is as soon as the asylum seeker or the asylum application will be denied, then someone is not allowed to work any longer. And maybe um, that then will not really help you because the process to get um, the work permit for an end permit holders is quite lengthy. And um, even the asylum application process is also lengthy that might be just time-wise not really work out. Therefore, be careful um, with that before you start the process and speak to the authority um, who is dealing with the asylum, um, asylum seeking um, application. So that should be, I think, a good overview in all these three categories and what you might need to know um, in regard of employing one of those um, employees. Now we would have time for any questions from your end. I don't know whether you do have any questions in that regard or it was just something you would like to have a bit of a better understanding. There is one question whether um, all the, those three um, categories or people of those three categories can do um, a test, um, test working, like a trial working. Um, yes, that is possible. All three categories, so also N permit holders after the waiting period could um, take on um, a test trial working for up to two weeks without any problems. You just have to notify the authority and then um, everything is in order. And then there is a question about the apprenticeship, um, which I said before, for S permit, um, S permit holders, there is no problem at all. Someone with an S permit can um, can do the um, apprenticeship without any problems and can continue until um, the end. And then we have one more question. Is it possible to change an S permit to a B permit? And what is the process? Um, Not really. I mean, yes, there is a possibility to change it, but the change would then mean that um, someone is um, basically then really not any longer on a protected status in, in Switzerland, but on a normal B permit. And you could do that, for example, if you have an, um, an S permit holder in employment um, with you, or you would like to employ that individual and you go through the whole whole process and then request the B permit for that individual, with that um, he or she should be able to get um, um, a B permit as well. So it's basically like the process for any other um, third country um, national. And the other question, we have is 
whether someone can stay um, after the termination of the contract, um, stay still in Switzerland. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the employment confirmation or the work permit itself is just for being able that the individual can work. That has nothing to do with the residence status um, as well. It's just if you do the change from S permit to B permit, then yes, there is a change um, in connection with the um, work permit for the individual. But otherwise, there is no change to the N, F or S permit um, status that remains as it is um, before. Okay, so for the moment, I think there are no further um, questions in that regard. So today it was a bit quicker um, than I thought. I thought you ha might have had um, a bit more questions in this regard, but then I'm happy if everything is good. In case you still have any further questions, then just let us know, drop us an email, and we are happy to um, get back to you. And then I just used the last minute to let you know that tomorrow we have our seminar about compliance aspects for international um, assignments. And um, otherwise, our next webinar will be in May to the topic about um, work permits, where we'll happy to um, see you at one of those events um, as well. Or otherwise, we will see us at our next um, Coffee and Consulting. So I wish you a great week and um, hopefully to see you soon. Bye.